I made a answer to uh, Senator Abbott's um, question uh, this morning in a hurry but, uh, <laughs> because I was uh, I had to go to a meeting. Uh, now I have come back, so I have a better look at the ABC News and would like to comment on some of those uh, expressed opinions. First of all, uh, there is somebody called the City Daddy. Uh, he said, I'm thankful Senator Abis has the guts to say something like that. Senator Abis' question was very much to the point. Because the scale of CCP's suppression on freedom is far beyond a tolerable level, even spreading overseas. My reaction to uh, Sydney Daddy is that, first of all, uh, your your idea of guts is different from mine. Uh, to me, Senator Abyss is just abusive. What? Why on the hell on earth that a Chinese-looking people have to answer such a question? I don't think it is an appropriate question anyway. But in terms of the reasons that's given by a city daddy, uh, because the scale of CCP suppression on freedom is far beyond a tolerable, a tolerable level. Please give me one example that any Chinese in mainland China find that are uh, intolerable. Even spreading overseas, again, give me one example how CCP's suppression is spreading overseas. May I point you to the uh, most important uh, human rights, the right to live, the right to be healthy, the right to be able to travel freely. Now, tell me, why you do not condemn governments like UK or United States when they have this overwhelming number of infections of COVID-19 because their government choose to do nothing? Are you going to condemn unconditionally the UK government and the United States governments put human lives in risk by doing nothing against the COVID-19. Let me just remind you once again, human life is the most important human right. If you don't have life, you are dead, you have no rights at all. Okay, there's another comment from Osborne Chu. Uh, Osborn is from a think tank. Um, Osborn said it, uh, he doesn't believe it was helpful to get into a political game of denounce, denouncements. I'm, I'm totally agree with that one. And the Deputy Lord Ma uh, Mayor candidate for Melbourne, uh, Wenzel Chow, uh, said uh, Australians should defend human rights and speak up against it. Um, against what? Against human rights or against the abuse of human rights? But anyway, um, this is what is said here. Yes, we should defend human rights. So we need to condemn governments which treat human lives in um, badly. For example, United States and U United Kingdom. Are you going to condemn them? We should speak up against their killing of their citizens using virus COVID-19. She said it was unfair to request witnesses to publicly declare the allegiance to Australia by condemning a foreign government. Exactly right. This one is correct. Our allegiance to, gov to Australia doesn't depend on condemning another government. This goes to the point I was making. When a person is putting their hand up for public office for speaking out publicly, they are required to make their allegiance and declare royalty. This is unfair on the community. Uh, Miss uh, Chow said, okay, sorry, uh, Vincent Chow is a lady. Another one, Jane Port, 
Chen Poon, a representative of the Australian Hong Kong Link, which lobbies the Australian government to stand up for the Hong Kong's democracy, told ABC the question from uh, Senator Abis might be objectionable, objectionable, but she didn't feel humiliated by it. I feel humiliated by you. He, she said, many Chinese migrants, especially from mainland China, were scared to talk about it. <laughs> I don't know where how he how she got that uh, information. I don't think so. I really don't think so. So it is your your say against my say. We don't know. There's no no facts on the ground to uh, prove otherwise. Uh, in terms, it is time to face offenses committed by the country and nation of our origin and choose to condemn them. Yes, correct. For example, um, the the white people here come from foreign land and genocide our local aborigines. Should we condemn them? White people don't have to demonstrate they are Australian. Correct, and uh, that is racism. And another one, a Jing Ho Jing Hua Ching, an award winning Chinese Australian writer, said Senator Abi's question was blatantly racial profiling. Correct, uh, she said, I can condemn. Xi Jinping, all I like, the uh, only possible consequence is that my family are threatened as a result. They said, uh, who is they? I, I really don't understand ABC's uh, grammar. Doesn't tell us who they is, okay? The 30 years old came to Australia from Shanghai as a child after Tiananmen Square massacre. They said they have no problem with unconditionally condemning the CCP and particularly their human rights abuses in Shenzhen. But the question proved the citizenship of Australians who are people of color is conditional. Now, the last sentence is correct. But the first question is, do, you, do we have any proof that there are human rights abuses in Shenzhen compared with the human rights abuses in United Kingdom or United States or the early settlers in Australia? Why are Australia addressing the Australian Senate expected to have an opinion on the government of a foreign country at all just because they have Chinese industry? That's also correct. There's a double standard in this country where people of color always have to prove themselves in endless performances of royalty and gratitude, while white people don't have to do anything to demonstrate that they are Australian. Again, that's correct. Uh, same to the to the our uh, Muslim um, uh, 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 brothers and sisters. They have to be constantly asked to condemn terrorists like the ISIS. So should we also ask uh, our white Australians to condemn KKK or something like that? The terrorist groups. Abbas is telling all Chinese Australians that it doesn't matter if you are actually from Malaysia or Taiwan or Singapore or Vietnam. It doesn't matter if you have never set foot in the People's Republic of China. You will always be considered Chinese based on your face. Again, that is correct. If the senator does believe that it is our duty to condemn foreign dictatorships and autocratic governments, and it should be all foreign dictatorships and autocratic governments, not specific ones that are seemingly associated with our ethnic city. Again, correct. He should. He said the incident so Australians still had a long way to go to build a co cohesive society because multiculturalism and inclusion should be more than just food and festivals. Again, I'm, I agree with that one. Another one, the Chinese Australian leadership should say privately, perhaps publicly, that Chinese Australians are the only people in Australian family who are asked to confirm their royalty to Australia. And I think that is degrading and regrettable. 
in a political climate fueled by COVID-19 tensions. Chinese Australians are facing are faced with scrutiny and even racial abuse that should not be tolerated, whether it is a veiled words yelled on the public transport or physical attacks on the street or racist rhetoric in this place, meaning the Senate. Of course, uh, the Senate defend himself, but again, I don't agree with that. So that will be my further comment to all the uh, other people's comment on this issue. Thank you.